the Royal Military Academy Santa's Great Pink Bake Off, which has been organised in aid of raising funds for breakthrough breast cancer. I've had an army of volunteer bakers donating various amazing cakes um, to sell, and also there's a competition as well. Um, the Commandant and Becca are judging as we speak, um, and there's an under 12 competition and an adult one. And uh, there's various prizes, various things, uh, and a raffle, and all sorts of other competition things for children as well. I am in the army, but leaving in a few months' time, and I was halfway through a tour in Afghanistan, uh, and I found a lump in my left breast and was aeromedded back to the United Kingdom, um, and it turned out to be triple negative breast cancer. I started on chemotherapy, I had an operation and radiotherapy, uh, so last year was pretty tough, eight months of treatment, um, but I'm here now and cracking on with life, and, and that's what's motivated me to fundraise for breakthrough breast cancer. A lot of people are affected uh, as well, because one in eight women get diagnosed in their lifetime with the disease. So you find that a lot of people here today know either me or someone else in their family or a friend who's been affected by the disease. It's been lovely. It's always nice to help out with anything that I can, especially in the military community, especially because I'm a military wife myself, um, and it's for a great cause. So yeah, it was a brilliant morning. What was nice is that some people had really thought about their flavours, uh, including Sean, who won the competition overall. Um, what was good was the standard of the cakes, you know, the design as well as the texture. Everybody really thought hard about it. I think a, co a cake competition always brings the best out of people. They really want to do their best. Um, so it was. Yeah, overall it was very high standard. How does it feel to have won? It was a big surprise. I, I, there's so many lovely cakes here this morning and I, I had absolutely no idea, so I was really chuffed. Talk us through your cake. It's a caramel and carrot Swiss roll with passion fruit cream. And it's, um, it's baked in a way that normal Swiss roll is, but you sort of whisk in the egg whites. But it, it, it's a bit of an experiment for me, so I was quite surprised to win. And how many times have you made it before in the past? Just once, but I tweaked the recipe last night to see if I could get a better result. But I was looking through the oven quite anxiously to see if it was rising, <laughs> so it was, a, it was a bit of a gamble. I wasn't too sure of the flavour combinations to start with, to be honest. Um, but as soon as I had the mouthful, the sponge was really light and you could taste everything that was promised. And who won the kids category? Uh, the winner of the kids category was a young girl called Amy Pan. She'd made a chocolate cake. And chocolate cakes are deceptively hard, actually, because the cocoa can dry out the sponge. Um, and you can also, if you don't put enough cocoa in, you don't get the chocolatey flavour. So to have managed that for an under 12 and you know to get all the flavours and the textures and the appearance was really good. So she was very, very well deserved winner there as well.